Hey guys, it's Chris Sword. Welcome back to St. Hedwig Online, or as we like to call it, the show. Today we have an awesome interview with our brand new priest, Father Scott. But first off, I just want to say, hey, how you doing? It's been a while, right, since we've had one of these? We've uh, been trying to get masses off the ground. We had Bible camp. We had a lot of uh, big things going on. And so we kind of took a little break from the show. But don't worry, it's not gone. It's still here. We're going to have a lot of big things coming up as well, including this interview. So let's check it out. Welcome back to St. Hadwig Online. We're right here with our brand new priest, Father Scott. And we want to get to know him a little more. Say hi to everybody. Hi, everybody. So, Father Scott, you know, I've always found that the more time you spend around the Catholic Church, you learn that uh, God sends us so many different kinds of priests, you know, right. with so many different gifts. Uh, where are your strengths when it comes to being a priest? I don't have any strengths. No strengths? No strengths. We're going to start, uh, you know, working at that uh, with here at this, uh, this parish. It's my, it's my first assignment, first priestly assignment. Uh, I've been at different parishes, serving as a seminarian, an intern, a deacon. Um, but I, for there, I, I strive in the liturgy and making sure the mass is, you know, to the T. And so we have reverent liturgy. Um, I'm good with the youth. Um, I'm not Mr. Energetic, you know, but uh, I have a strong presence with the youth because uh, of the future of the church. Other than like the liturgy, uh, the youth, um, the, the sacraments. You know, to, to, to push the sacraments. Because that's not, that's what we're really here for, is the sacraments. And it's not, you're not here for, you're not for Scott, or Father Scott, you're here for Jesus. So if I can provide you more of that, we're all happy. And we're all strong. There you go, I like it. Yeah. All right. No strengths, but it's a good thing. <laughs> and it is. It is really. It's nice that we get to break in a brand new priest. You try. Yeah, you try. can try. <laughs> Maybe we can teach him all the things we want, and then maybe he'll get good at those. We'll find out. I love it. Sure. That's beautiful. And that's a great way to look at it, too, really. Okay, so um, throughout the last uh, couple months, it feels like years, but just a couple months of life, we've all been kind of asked to grow in different ways, whether it's like personal prayer life or, or life as a family or mm -hmm. what it means to be a part of the local or even global community, you know? What ways do you feel like over the past few months you've been called to grow? Uh, transition. Definitely transition. Uh, I was overseas, and then one uh, beautiful afternoon, or after the evening, we are told to go into the auditorium at the seminary, and it says, okay, you get a week to go home, find a place to stay in your diocese, and then... You know, you pretty much leave your stuff here, most of your stuff here, just take a few suitcases back home. And so it's like, okay, so it was a little gut check there. And uh, so I took the most essential and uh, I found a place in, the, in the, a parish in the diocese. And I've been just using the, the, the bare a few uh, minimum things I need to function. Uh, uh, so still my stuff is all over there. Uh, all my uh, comfort items and books and clothes and everything that I normally wear. Um, so to do without, I suppose. Uh, to do without the extra fluff to get onto the essentials. And so this is like a temporal uh, uh, perspective that I'm talking to you now, but then it also applies to uh, the spiritual life. You know, to get to get rid of all the extra fluff of our lives and to focus on what's essential. And I think uh, what's keeping us all going is uh, our Lord, our relationship. Key word, relationship with Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's awesome. Thanks. How long have you been in, back in the country? Like, when did you? Since uh, April or late March, April? I forget. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I had a two-week uh, kind of quarantine thing. Yeah. And so that was cool. How long were you out of the country? September or late early September. Oh, okay. Yeah. Awesome. And like, what, do you have any favorite like memories of being? Where, uh, you were in Rome. Is that where you were? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What do What do you got for us from Rome? Favorites. We all wish we were out of the house right now, so you can give us like a vicarious trip. I guess the European lifestyle in general, not just the Italian lifestyle, is far different than the American lifestyle. Uh, us Americans are very independent. Uh, we're very distant in terms of relationships, you know, even at the market. You know, just everybody's like their own little island, their own little bubble, in a sense. Whereas in Europe, it's mostly like we're a family, and that's so predominant in mostly. Uh, 
you know, Spanish culture, uh, Asian cultures, it's just a family built in in this part of the human dynamic. I'm mean, not saying that's not the case for Anglos, but just our, I mean, just for our country, it's just our country's very independent, kind of the John Wayne type of lifestyle, but there it's like we're in it together. And you just walk down the street, you pop into the market, hey, what's your name, where are you from, you know, and you're already included. So that's just kind of like, whoa, this is different. And to kind of get accustomed to this family, this global family you're talking about, um, is something different. And it's kind of more wholesome, I suppose. I'd say, I'd say it's wholesome. Um, but being in Italy, um, the Italians are they're, they're fun. They're, they're, they have all that, the hand motions and everything. It's just something lively that they do, particularly in their own selves. Um, but being in Rome, the internal city, uh, what a blessing, what a great uh, gift that the Lord has given me. Um, to really kind of learn, you know, the priestly trade, or the, you know, be formed as a priest in internal city, because what we're studying actually happened right there, but we're off on the street, and right, so it's like yeah. this is this is real, this is true, you know, and celebrate mass in St. Peter's, you know, on the, on the tombs of the popes and the saints who have given their blood for the faith, and wow, when I can only then give you that which I've been formed in, that which I know to this parish. So become more Catholic, more you know, to, know, to know our roots, and so hopefully I'll give that uh, this presentation of faith in the Mass and uh, in the young adult groups and to all the different ministries uh, here at St. Helens. Awesome. So just in case anyone missed it, though, he's not from very far away, are you? No. Where are you from? I'm from Yerwanda. Okay, Yerba, that's not true. Yerba Nova, as I call it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Most people call that, I think, the, the, the realm of Orange County. Isn't that true, Yorba Linda? No. No? Very, no. <laughs> no, absolutely not. No, okay. <laughs> Never mind. No. All right. Well, that's awesome. So you're bringing to us uh, a blank slate, really, where you're willing to, to be formed and grow. You're also bringing your experience of, of that kind of big family mm -hmm. um, that you learned in Rome, but you're also from... Right next to us. This is nice. This is a nice little yeah, home gift we've received in Father Scott, right? That's it. Awesome. So what we're going to do, we're going to finish up with a game that I like to call the St. Hedwig Half Dozen. So what you're going to try and do is you are going to try and answer these seven questions because uh, one is for the Holy Spirit, right? That's the St. Hedwig Half Dozen. Okay. Um, in one minute, let's see if you are capable of doing it, all right? Okay. You ready? Right. And... Go. So, what is your favorite movie? Uh, geez. <laughs> I don't know. Some categories there. Um, so, uh, this year. This year, I, I, I'm in a cave, right? I'm in a cave, <laughs> right? Um, okay. I guess I'd, I'd say favorite favorite saga would be Band of Brothers. It's not in a movie. It's different movies. Yeah, yeah. Like it. So, Band of Brothers. Band of Brothers. I like it. Yeah. Favorite scripture? Ooh. Mm. I'd say John 3.16. John 3, 16. Hard to go wrong with that. All right. Favorite gas station snack? That's pretty random. Beef jerky. Beef jerky. Favorite saint? St. Thomas Aquinas. Nice. The last album you listened to? Uh, album? Music? Mm, yeah. Great Big C. Favorite band. prayer? Prayer? Um, Liturgy of the Hours. And favorite place in the Orange County? I don't know. <laughs> St. Hedwig. St. Hedwig. All right. He just, you know what? I'll give it to him. You take out my words, and I think you made it in a minute. So well done. Thank you. You did it. You're sweating a little bit. I am. I quick, I want to go in a minute. I was <laughs> you like, did I don't good. know. You did good. You know? All right. Perfect. Well, is there anything you want to leave us with before? Uh... Um, I think uh, patience both ways, I suppose, as I'm transitioning in as a, as a new priest into the parish. And then patience with you, um, because I, I have my skill set, you have your skill set, you all your love and all my love, and hopefully we'll, we'll, we'll have a jive, and then um, we'll, we'll continue blooming in our parish, attracting the young, the youth, uh, making this place more vibrant with, the, uh, with Father Chris and company. Um, yeah, so patience both ways, and, uh, but let's, let's have fun as we, as we journey together in Christ. Um, so that we can, uh, we can foster that relationship. That's the key word, is, is a relationship. It's not just God's up there, we're down here, and, you know, no, it's actually a living couple relationship where we want to go to confession, we want to receive the sacraments, and we want to grow in community together. Amen. Yeah. Awesome. Well, I've been told 
that uh, God's power is greater than our distance, and so therefore uh, we can most certainly receive blessings while watching videos. So I think you, so. <laughs> yeah, that's what Father Chris has assured me. Okay. <laughs> so can you bless the people who are watching? All right. Well, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And with you. Well, I was going to let them do it. Okay. And with your spirit. I know the response. May all God <laughs> bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. All right. Thank you, Father Scott. Thank you, Chris. Appreciate it. Awesome. Nice yeah. meet you guys. See ya. All right. Well, thanks for checking out uh, this interview with our brand new priest, Father Scott. If you see him around, feel free to say hi. He's a pretty nice guy. I think you'll like him. All right. So, like I said, we got a lot of big things coming up in the future here at St. Hedwig Online. Also with St. Hedwig in person. All right. So just stay tuned. Things are constantly changing these days. I think you know that already. With that, I just want to take a moment. Um, to thank all of you who have donated and kept us going uh, throughout this time. And just a reminder, if uh, you can, take a look. There's a link down below this video. The perfect way to just continue giving whatever you can. Kind of the normal way that you've given on Sundays throughout your life here at St. Hedwig. And if you can keep that up, let me tell you, it'll help us out so much here at the parish. Well, with that, I just want to say peace be with you, and we'll see you next time.